Hi guys, it's Tom here, and what is that? Is that some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay? Yes it is, I haven't posted some Modern Warfare 2 in so long and I thought I'd post some Modern Warfare 2 and I'm going to be going for the nuke this game, going for kill streaks, and I thought what better game to talk about Modern Warfare 3 kill streaks. So if you don't already know the kill streaks Modern Warfare 3 have actually been broken up into three different what they call them packages and they're going to be Assault, Support and Specialist and I just want to point out that what would a Modern Warfare 2 video be without getting noob tube but anyway back to the kill streaks. and basically today I'm going to be covering the Assault Package and the thing about the Assault Package is that it's going to be the kind of kill streaks that get you kills so stuff like your Predator Missile, your Attack Helicopters, your AC-130s, that kind of thing so that's what's going to be in the Assault category and basically what is going to happen is that killstreak is going to stack only in this category so if you're on the support package they won't be stacking so one other thing that i should point out about this is that now in the game it's actually going to go on points instead of kills so you're going to get points for stuff like one point for a kill you're also going to get points for capturing objectives defusing bombs planting bombs you're also actually going to get points for taking out air support so there's probably going to be a lot of points flying about which probably means a lot of killstreaks so killstreaks going to play a big part in the game there's going to be a lot of them but they have said that they, they've tried to tone down how many kills they're going to get and they're going to act more support. So let's go through these kill streaks now. So the first one at three points is going to be the UAV. And this is very similar to the UAVs in previous games. It's going to give you a sweep across the map. And you're going to see everyone apart from those running with Assassin. The next one is four points, and that's Care Package. This is going to drop you a kill streak or ammo. I'm not too sure whether it's going to be kill streak just from the Assault Package. So I'm not too sure how that works. We'll have to wait and see about that. The next one is the IMS or the Intelligent Munition System. You can see some kind of little clip about this here. It's actually going to grant you three or four of these IMS systems and they're going to be immune to kind of flashes and stuns. The next one we have is the Predator Missile and this is going to be five points and it's going to be pretty similar to what we've seen before from all the clips that I've seen of the Predator Missiles in Modern Warfare 3. Next, another one at five points is going to be the sentry gun, and I thought the sentry gun was pretty good in Black Ops because people had to have Ghost Pro to be immune from it, but I think now that people can just have blind eye, it's not going to be as powerful as it was in the past, and probably going to be quite easily trumped by the Predator Missile. Next, we have the Precision Airstrike. This is going to be at six points, and this is going to be pretty similar to what it was in Modern Warfare 2. Next, at seven points, we're going to have the attack helicopter. From what I've heard, it's just exactly the same. It's just going to be up for so long and just cock blocking as it normally does and I'm not too sure if you're going to actually be able to have more than one attack helicopter at a time that's yet to be seen. Next we have the strafe gun, this is actually going to be five attack helicopters that strafe about the map, give you support but it's only going to be for about 30 seconds so it's going to be a lot shorter than an attack helicopter but there's obviously going to be five of them. Next we have the little bird guard and you can see a little bit of gameplay here, this is from one of the trailers, you see how it just kind of like follows the guy and just supports him and I just think it's a really good kill streak. It's one of them, you're going to kind of feel invincible when you've got this on top of you. From what I've heard, it's going to be pretty powerful and it should be really for the 9 points that it is. The next one is also 9 points and this is the Reaper Drone. And again, I've got a little bit of gameplay here. Everyone thought that this was the AC-130, but it's actually the Reaper. And from what I've read, it, you're going to get 5 of these kind of missiles that come down. They're pretty much like Predator missiles. They look like they're actually heat sensing, so that could be very interesting. It looks like these are going to be able to quite easily get you to your next kill streak. Next we have the Assault Drone which is 10 points and again you can see some gameplay of this here. This is actually going to drop down from the air and then you're going to be able to kind of, I don't know, you're probably just going to maybe tell it to patrol a map in a certain direction. It's going to chase people down like it did in that gameplay. Next at 12 points we have the AC-130. Again this is going to be pretty similar from Modern Warfare 2 how it's just going to come out the free cannons and you can switch between them. Next, again at 12 points, we have the Pavlo, and from what I've heard, they've really kind of bumped this up from Modern Warfare 2 and made it pretty powerful, as it should be if it's going to be the same amount of points as the AC-130. Next, at 15 points, we have the Juggernaut, and basically the Assault Juggernaut is different to the Support Juggernaut. The Assault Juggernaut is actually going to carry the M60 E4, and it's, you're just going to go around in the suit, pretty much be invincible. However, I have heard that they can't take that much explosive damage. And finally, at 17 points, we have the Osprey Gunner, which is going to be kind of like a chopper gunner, and it's also going to drop some care packages for your teammates. And it didn't say how many, it just says multiple care packages, so I'm probably thinking about three to five, so that should be good. So, uh, so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about the Modern Warfare 3 kill streaks, and I thought I'd finish it off with a nice little nuke here. If you could rate the video, that'd be great. I did take quite a bit of effort to kind of get all the information and also get some gameplay for you guys. 
Also be sure to check some of my latest videos because YouTube has been playing up recently with the sub boxes so there are some you might have missed so head over to my channel page if you want to be safe and catch all the videos. You can see my latest video on screen right now which you should also go and watch. But anyway I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you again with another video very soon. All of your flaws and all of my flaws.